2019 was definitely the best year of my life. I keep saying that every single year, but I guess that's just how it is. Ever since I was a little boy, I've dreamt about going to all of these contests and riding all these events. And now it's just like, I'm truly living my dream and it's just surreal and I'll be forever thankful for that. Anyways, I'm not gonna bore you guys more with that now. To be honest, it was quite a hectic year. I was pretty much non-stop traveling for events or video projects or stuff like that all year long. But I guess we should just start from the beginning, which was Crankworks in New Zealand. And all of a sudden I decided to crash on the last jump again. It was exactly the same jump, same moment as I broke my arm on one year prior. So yeah, I felt kind of bad because I worked really hard to get back on my bike and that was the first event back since I split my arm in half. Well that sucks. But I think I've never been that happy about crashing. Hold up. How could I ever let that happen to my own head? By the way, that happened earlier in the year when I had Thomas Lemoyne over. The aftermath of this was to never hang out again with Thomas Lemoyne. But yeah, that's the way she goes, I guess. I was just super happy to even be able to take a big slam like that because I had repeated injuries throughout the couple of years before. So yeah. And yeah, after that, I pretty much just flew home to Sweden again, repacked all my bags, and then I flew all the way to Hawaii together with my friend Sam Pilgrim to film the video How I See It. I got over 15 million views, which is insane. I had the most insane time there. We got to do so many insane activities like helis, Ferraris, hang out with the pro surfer Jamie O'Brien. It was insane. We all went next lap already. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> on earth are you wearing Sam? What is that? After that epic trip I got back home to a brand new airbag that I ordered for some reason but yeah we had some good times with it and uh, I guess everything fell off right? Oh! Our next little adventure was the road trip down to Dirt Monsters in Winterberg, Germany. And on the way down we stopped at the only set of trails we have in Sweden, which is insane by the way. Then we also stopped at some more spots in Germany to ride with some friends before we hit the festival, which was absolutely nuts. Winterberg never disappoints, but then we went back home to pick up the sickest <laughs> toys ever, which was some electric motorbikes. It's a Swedish brand called Cake. It's indescribable how fun they are, so we've been playing around with them all year long. No! <laughs> no! Next up was Pump Track World Championships Qualifier, which was held in Sweden for the first time ever. And I got to race against my all time favorite rider in the world, Martin Söderström, which has been my mentor since I was a little boy. Love that guy. I guess that was pretty cool, one, which is nice, and I have to go to Switzerland now. I don't know when, and I don't know if I can, but we should probably check that out. Somehow I won that event, I got sent to the finals, and I just felt very, very lost amongst all the racers, but it was still a fun trip. 
Flew to America to compete in the US Open. Crashed on the last jump, but again, straight to the next event, which was Vigo, Spain, where I managed to snag a second place. That warmed me up pretty good for the biggest event that we have in Slopestyle, which is Crankworks in Whistler. I managed to make my way down to the bottom, even though it wasn't exactly as I wanted to, but it made me hungry for 2020. Give it up for Max Fredrickson! As we are underway here with the wheel tail, comes up, double tail whip, and then getting the double front off of it, blowing the tire, but... Fuck yeah, dude, I love you. Then it was time for my absolute favorite event of all time, highlight of the year, Audi 9s in Germany. Where you basically just ride with all your friends, push each other as hard as you can and learn new tricks and just shoot amazing content together. Do it now. Then I flew to China for a video project. It's the most insane scenery I've ever seen in my whole life. That's insane on the first run. And then I flew to Tokyo for another video project. I could go on forever because there's been so many amazing trips in 2019, but these were some of my favorite ones for sure. Other than all these crazy trips, events, contests and whatever, I've created over 100 YouTube videos together with my partner in crime, Theo. You guys probably already know him by now. And he is for sure never afraid of sending it to me. And he always puts a smile on my face. What I've learned over these past years of filming videos together with him is that we end up doing so much more than we normally do if we weren't filming. And I'll be forever thankful for all these crazy experiences that we're getting together and just all the good times. I like making videos, yeah. It's so much fun. It's so safe, yeah. I can't believe how action-packed this year has been and I would like to say thank you to all my friends from all around the world for all the great memories. But what truly amazes me is what this channel have built up. Murdered out times two. All the support, the audience, the fan base is slowly growing into a little community. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to go harder than ever before in 2020. Yeah, that was all of the parts that I got on camera in 2019. Thanks to everyone who's been sticking with me throughout the whole year. There's no doubt that 2020 will be a lot bigger, better, and hopefully even more fun. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>